Ah, there he is, Reg, Reg Rose. He must be new, never heard of him. You can bet down to the bottom of your bunions that he's heard of me though. <laughs> no matter how irrelevant he says I am. God, I wish Reg Rose worked for me. God, I'd like to fire him. I'd look right into the pupils of his eyes as I did it too. It'd be Christmas Eve, freezing, cold. I would have a five year tolerance, but I'd really plan it out. And then the first Christmas, the temperature dropped below zero. Bang, fired. Well, maybe I wouldn't fire him, the old sod. Maybe I'd just pension him off. Stops you in your tracks, this job. It twists you, this career I've chosen. But I had to look up his name in the paper. And believe me, my name used to be synonymous with this newspaper. Dear Dillis was the column. Your mum would have heard of it. It was before the internet. It was before anyone had any actual answers for things. <laughs> yeah. I was on Easy Street, you know. Dear Dillis. I'm starting to think my stepdad is a right royal. Yeah, let me stop you there, love. He is. And I can gush with adjectives because, you know, I'm paid by the word. Dear Dilly, so do you think my husband of 18 years is? Uh, yes, he is. He's a rat and you're an idiot. And she was an idiot, in a way. Paying 22p to listen to the answers that my assistant had written while I was going up my shins with a bick, hacking away. <laughs> I can't afford a bick now. I just have to wear long trousers. But soon, you know, that wasn't enough. It wasn't enough to be standing by their side. You had to be out there champing in their cause, wreaking vengeful havoc. I blame the cook report running at people with his file of facts. That was the death knell that was. And now Twitter and Instagram and Facebook, everyone's offering everyone else advice and they don't even have to wait for the printer. The wildebeest on the Serengeti are jenning up and they're ganging up against the hyenas. But, you know, the hyenas are still here reading the paper, needing their bits of zebra. Can you hear that? <laughs> anyway, then they wrote me a letter saying, Dear Dillis, too. And they literally spelled out how irrelevant I'd become. And I literally spelled out a few answers back to them, return mail, and that was that signalled the end of it, you know. And that was it. Column. Columnist. Retired, and now everyone flocks to these things. And all you have to do is go against the grain as crassly as you can, and then you'll be all blue ticked and trending. Oh, sorry. Can you hear that on this recording? I'm sorry, I, I just don't know. Is it like thumbs up for like? Yes. They say, don't they? When you start harmlessly smoking marijuana, that it's a one-way street to crack addiction. Well, I don't know if I believe that, but I do know I have a man locked in my cupboard. <laughs> oh, I don't know if it was charity or what, but old Reg Rose, has sent down one of his iPad jockeys to do a sort of lifestyle piece on a, a faded celebrity. But not one of them remembers how my post bag used to be twice as full as theirs. Not one of them. And, you know, and I didn't care at the time. I used to think of this job as a hat that I wore as disguise, ultimately masking the human being beneath. But no, not now. Shaped I am. Twisted. Oh, shut up in there, will you?
God. I had to hit him so hard with the George Foreman grill. You know, that's the only way that I could get him in the cupboard. And um, you probably saw it because the views on here, they spiked. They did. Off the charts. I think it was, I think it was, was relevant somehow. But I don't know. I don't know what I should do with him. Maybe I should, um, maybe I should leave it up to you. Should I give him a couple of paracetamol in a minute? Is that thumbs up for yes? Oh, I don't know. Maybe we should have a thumbs down. Maybe we should have our own Coliseum. <laughs> oh, now that would be really relevant, you know, chuck in a few lions. <laughs> I don't know if this is enough. I don't know if Reg Rose, you know, he'll hear of me. And I know that there is a few viewers on this live thing. But, well, it's just that I used to be relevant. You know, when you're used to having relevance, when your opinion matters, when people look to you, it's just time to bring a bit of heat, bring, bring a bit of sensation. All right. Do. maybe that's not a bad thing you know because we're in it together we are and maybe it's it's not the fact that it's done it's just the fact that it's out there it's not who creates it it's just that we'll be remembered it's time it's time to bring a bit of relevance stick out our necks Bring a bit of heat. Bring a bit of sensation. <laughs> Shall we?